Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And today's video is about print merge and putting a name or name into a print merge to make life easier. I have avoided print work merge for years. I've watched Roy Brewer's uh, very good e uh, videos on print merge, and I I just kind of get lost because I talked to him just last weekend at a convention. He said, "Yes, there's quite a few steps you have to do in the." the correct order. So I'm going to show you how I just kind of figured it out. I've got a, I've turned my page to two by three, which I ne never do. But for this video I did, I'm say if you're making a business card or a, a placard and you could have anything written on it. So first of all, you need to go to XL. I actually use Lotus one, two, three, and it works because I'm old school and I don't have XL and just type in the word name. And I used all capitals. You don't have to do that. And you could have double, you know, both their names, surnames, and first names. And then save that file as a CSV file, comma separated value. I just called it print merge, and I saved it. Then I brought it over to my laser, my laser uh, computer or at least the computer I do the videos on, so I imported it. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to go to File, Print Merge, Create Load Print Merge, Import a text from a file, Next. Then it's going to ask you for that file. We're going to type in PM for Print Merge, and there is the CSV file, and then hit Next. And then we're not going to go into the numerals like we did the other day, but we're going to type in the word name. And we're going to hit next. And there's our names. Then we're going to hit next and finish. Then it's going to pop up and it's going to insert print merge field. And you get this right here. We're going to hit P and put it in the center of the page, but we're also going to have to check center. So all the names will be centered. Then we're going to go and perform print merge. It takes just a second, but as you can see it, and I've actually got my uh, laser size bed uh, on this. I needed to change my layout because I've got the my file right there. But as you can see, let me zoom in here if it'll let me. Let me back out of this and zoom in. Let me get this out of the way let me just get both these out of the way and let's perform print merge now there is our of course my laser bed is different size than my bed bed in preferences and you can change all that but let me see if i can't zoom in here a little bit hopefully you'll be able to see this let me x out of this again let me zoom into this area and hopefully it'll do this so go up to, well, we're right here, perform print merge. Well, I didn't really make it any bigger. But as you can see, this is page one. Page two is Bill. Page three is Doug. Four is Steve. And five is Greg. It put all those names in it. If you had a hundred names, this will help you quite a bit. Now, in the next couple of days, when I get some time, I'm going to take Roy Brewer's advice and, and go to uh, a, a imposition layout and put all these onto one table. But I hope that helped a little bit. You just got to go in those orders and it's really pretty easy. And you can, you can change the, the font. You know, you don't have to be stuck. Whoop. What did I do wrong? You could change the font to whatever font you want. You know, we're going to make it blacklist. You can change it to Times New Romans. You can make it bold. But just here's the key is to center justify it. So all the names will be in the center because you put it in the center of the page if that's where you want it. It doesn't have to go there. I mean, that name could go here and it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. 
and thank you for watching.